Hey, 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 it's Shantae Parker from Bennett Realty Solutions coming to you live on Tuesday for Tip Tuesday, my favorite day. Um, it's raining, it's cold, it's still winter, um, but unbelievably so, this is the best real estate market that I've been in ever in my 15 years of selling real estate. Um, it is so hot in the real estate market. Buyers are buying, sellers are selling. Um, it's really like the spring market. So if you were thinking about buying a house or thinking about selling the house, you need to go on and get quick, get a quick start because it is um, unbelievably uh, crazy in this real estate market right now. I have literally shown houses every single day. I've written a contract probably every other day um, and taken listings every week. So um, this market is busy. The spring market is here already in the winter, um, so you need to get started. So the tip for today is, what is the difference between a home inspection and an appraisal, and do you need both? Or why do you need both? So first, a home inspection is something that is highly recommended. HUD recommends it, and all realtors usually recommend it for a buyer to um, contract or partner with the home inspection company to get a home inspection done on a property that you are purchasing. The purpose of the home inspection is for the um, inspector to find out what is structurally and mechanically wrong with the property. So that means, you know, are the appliances in working order? Does the HVAC system work? Are there any leaks? Um, are there any leaks with the roof? Um, is the siding intact? Is the fireplace chimney flute able to be open? Um, you know, are the electric outlets working? All the things that you would normally see as a buyer with the naked eye, or maybe even I as a realtor, we call in a professional home inspector. Home inspectors are licensed and bonded with the state that they're in. The fee is usually anywhere from $350 to $500 or more, um, depending on how many inspections you are getting because there are several different types. But the general structural mechanical one is about that much. You can also have a mold inspection, a radon inspection, a termite inspection. There are many other inspections. But in general, a home inspection is to find things that are structurally and mechanically wrong. Your home inspector should go on your roof to, to inspect it. It should go, they should go in the crawl space to inspect it as well. Um, of course, they should go to every level of the house, go in every room, every bathroom, you know, go in the kitchen and so forth. Once the inspection is done, the home inspector is to give you a report, which normally includes pictures and their recommendations. Before the home inspection is over or during the home inspection, the buyer should walk around with the home inspector, take notes to see what exactly is going on with the property. Another thing that you could do, because you're gonna to have to get hazard insurance with this property, you could ask your insurance company to provide you what's called the clue report. The clue report is now kind of like a Carfax for houses, um, the clue report can tell you if that particular house has had any um, occurrences with insurance. Like, have they had any leaks? Have they had a fire? Have they had any break-ins? It can tell you, have they filed an insurance claim for any reason? So that would be very useful information and also a bargaining tool when you are going back to the seller about repairs. So once the home inspection is complete, the home inspector generates a report, which normally includes pictures and detailed information in reference to everything that they found. Um, and then that report is sent to you via email as well as your realtor. And then basically we go over the report and we go over the things that you wanna ask the seller to fix um, on your behalf. Um, and again, I stress that it's a structural and mechanical. We're looking for things that are not w working properly or not working at all. Um, we're not looking for things like if the hot water heater is past its life expectancy, um, we don't generally ask them to give you a new hot water heater unless the hot water heater was actually broken. If it's not in uh, proper working order, that is when we ask them to give you give you a new one or repair the one that is there. But if it is working, we don't generally do that. Um, another thing, um, the difference though between a home inspection and an appraisal, an appraiser um, is a objective body. It, an appraisal is required by your lender. The appraisal um, is ordered by the lender and he puts it out there or she puts it out there in a portal. It's picked up by an appraiser. We generally don't know who the appraiser is going to be. Um, if you're the listing agent, sometimes you get to find out who they are because they schedule appointments with you. But if you're the buyer and the buyer's agent, you don't know who the person is and the buyer does not have to be present for the appraisal. Unlike the home inspection, you do have to be present or you at least should be. Um, so the appraisal gets done 
the appraiser is looking for value. They are comparing um, what's called comps. Comps are homes that have sold in the last six months. They try to find, um, you know, six to 10 properties of the same likeness, you know, comparing apples to apples. So same number of bedrooms, same number of baths, same square footage, same style of home, colonial, colonial, or split foyer to split foyer. That's what they're looking for in your immediate subdivision. If they can't find the same number of comps that they need or the required number of comps, then they can do two things. They can either go outside of your subdivision uh, or they can go back in time because they generally like to find good raw data from the last six months. If they can't, they go back and they may go back in time, like maybe in the last 12 months. So, um, but the difference in today's time is that appraisers also look for things that are structurally and mechanically wrong. And if they notate those in their report, then the seller is required to fix those. Those are called lender required repairs. The seller is required to fix those items. Otherwise, the buyer cannot get financing and the appraiser would not sign off on me. <laughs> um, popular girl this morning. Anyway, so there you, go. there you have it. You have a home inspection. Highly recommend it. Everybody should do one. There are repairs. We make a repair list. Um, hey, Chris Jackson, the appraiser. I just sent you a referral. I heard you going into their house this week or next week. Um, I love giving referrals to people that I know do an amazing job. And Chris Jackson of Jackson Appraisals is an amazing person and amazing. Chris, put your information in here. So if anybody else needs an appraiser, they can refer you to. He's also a realtor and one of my friends. Um, but anyway, so home inspection, you have to do it. You should do it. Highly recommend it. I would not sell anybody a house that wasn't doing it. Um, and we get together and we go over the repairs. Appraisal is when we're lo really looking for value, but if there are things that are obviously wrong, structural mechanical things, the appraiser is going to put in his report. Both of them are required. Both of them ha happen as a consequence of the buying process. Both of them can um, sometimes be very stressful, but you need to partner yourself with a realtor who is experienced and who knows how to help hold your hand and navigate you through both scenarios. I'm Shantae Parker. This is Tip Tuesday. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, if you would like a list of all of the home inspectors that I use, I don't partner with people that I don't believe in and I haven't used before. And I don't, I'm not able to stamp their um, professionalism, their customer service and their work. I have been working with the same home inspector for the last 15 years that I've been a realtor. Um, I have a, a list of at least six home inspectors, though, that I have used because he's not always available, the one that I've used the most. But all of them are amazing. So if you need a home inspection, please, and you're already in process and you need a referral, please DM me, text me, email me, and I can send you my list. Um, also, if you want to learn more about home inspection, you can click the link below to get more information. Thanks for watching. You guys have a fantastic day. Even though it's raining, have a fantastic day. You woke up, you're alive, and it's going to be amazing. Bye.